Hello everybody, welcome back to the brown office. I don't know, I was, I f oh wait, wait, I can't go in here? Oh my god, am I crazy? I fought, but I fought, I fought, I fought, I, I, uh, <laughs> wait, do I actually need a mental cobweb duster? Surely not. Surely not. I don't think so. Alright, well, sorry guys, I led you astray. You weren't supposed to go there at all. How about that? I'm a knob. I just remember going there and doing a thing there. Uh, probably because I had the mental cobweb duster by this point, but I don't think I did. Anyway, we have this house here where we, uh, where we require ourselves a little bit of a, a watering can. That is a fine watering can. May I ask how much you paid for it? It was about two fifty. Anyway. Come in here, we got ourselves a rolling pin! So I can make a pie. But I know where to use this, but the problem is I'm looking for a gosh dang... Come with us. Th oh, I walked out Who with is a the rolling man? pin. Are you aware you're being followed? What's yeah, the what? like? Is he nice? <laughs> Why would they ask me that? What happened inside that house? Why did you burn that bush? What? Why did you punch that little girl? <laughs> she was asking for it. Alright, uh, well, um... Oh man, oh, gosh, I, it, it makes me so s uh, sad that I can't exactly remember like what to do because like I love this level and I remember it. it's like you find all the different parts and pieces and it's like ah, wish I could remember anything. What is my life? Ah, oh, that one's. Ugh. I I don't think you need the mental cup web duster. I really like I, if I could remember correctly, that was like one of the last things I did in the game. It was like I bought it and I went back and got everything. But, uh, no one that. But I guess we could go do the, the other thing. Okay, nothing. Was, it, was there anything here inside this house? Probably not. Nah, nah. Um. Uh, sorry guys if, I, if I'm being a bit boring here, but I'm just, I'm just trying to... I'm racking my brain right now where... Because I know we can go into the house with the, the head clippers and stuff, yeah, but like... We this need... Is my job. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, when you have too many items, it goes to a different tab uh, that you can create, so... Well, I guess, that's only like a, a one-up though. It's not one-up, that's, that's an upgrade for uh, your... This is for, uh, for your ammo. But that's all you use this for, so what am I missing? Oh, son of a bitch, why do I always forget about that? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, damn, what do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Ah, man, I was so confident that, like, it was that area over there with... With the... That I had to use the clairvoyance to get into that building. I was like, I was like... Ah, oh, man, uh, Is there anything over this side of here? I don't think so. Hmm... Where would you find a plunger? You know what? I'm 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 so confident that it's in this area here. But uh, do I really need a mental cobweb duster? That does the same way to me. But I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to go and buy one anyway, and I will be back here in just a second, alright? I'm gonna leave this level, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna buy myself a mental cobweb duster, I'll be right back, and I'll probably come here and realize that I didn't need it in the first place. Alright, see you guys in a second. Dedication and mental agility. I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for invisibility. Oh my gosh, wow guys, sorry to just suddenly spring this on you, but when I went back, I remembered I, I could I leveled up, so I got another ability. What I actually did was I used the bacon, and he's like, hey, hey, I got an ability for you, you want to come over right now? I'm like, uh, okay, and he's like, here you go, and he just teleports me here, so the cutscene just started. But, uh, yeah. Take this guy out, but if he sees you at all, you lose. Go get him. Alrighty, so we want to use our invisibility. Hey, it's interesting because I've got like glowing eyes even without my goggles on. But anyway, we come over here and just smack him. Never saw it coming. Well done. Now that's Those. the power of invisibility. I think I've heard the kids around camp refer to this technique as uh, silent but deadly. 
<laughs> Rasputin, come up here. There's something you should see. Oh, okay. So that's why we started here. That's a bit random, but uh, yeah, I forgot. This is also a cutscene that we need to go see real quick. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, we'll just we'll just do this right now. So you remember that we had this like weird chamber thing here where he's just like, oh, you know, this stuff here, but we probably won't need to use it. Well, sure enough, we need to use it. Let's come over here and see where he's led us. We will discover. You're the only one left, son. All of the kids brainless, watching TV. Can't even Dugan. make a connection with Sasha or Mia right now for some reason. Sasha Wait, said he had some Dugan. official psychonauts business. Impossible. I would know it if they did. No, something's happened to them. Rasputin, listen. They're the only one who can stop Oleander now. What about you? I, I can't leave this cave, Rasputin. Not as the Ford Crawler you know. What? Why? Years ago, I was in a terrible psychic duel that left me barely alive. Yeah, I hmm. read about that. They said your psyche was shattered, that you lost your mind. But you seem fine to me. Yes. When I'm down here, near the Sartanium Motherload, the concentrated power of the Sartanium pulls my thoughts together. That's the big rock, by the way. Me like my old self. But if I leave the sanctuary, my psyche becomes disjointed. I fall into one of my other personalities, but no memory of who I really am. I'd be no use to you unless you needed something raked or, or mocked. Well, you can call headquarters and get help. The Psychonauts won't listen to me. They wrote me off as a loon years ago. That's why Sasha and Mia have to take on all my missions. Headquarters doesn't know I'm the one behind the assignment, so they'd never get approved. But Sash and Mia seem to be out of commission now. You have to be my field agent, Rasputin. Are you ready? Does this make me an official psychonaut? Yes. yes. I've been doing it already. Good. You have to find where that monster took the girl. Done and, and done. Locate any of the other children's brains along the way. Bring them back to me for recranialization. Understand? Ew. I mean, yes, sir. Okay, so that's another thing is, uh, in the mental assignment where it's asylum where we are, uh, like well, where the security guard is, we haven't actually gone into it yet. There are their brains are all just kind of scattered about the place in jars, and uh, yeah, you want to find it. That was not Dogan I was talking about before. The guy on the couch who's like probably not brainless, or already was as it might be. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna quickly roll our way up to the. What should we call it? This is what he's talking about, by the way. So he has to be around this to be to retain his old memory. So anyway, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, guys, I'm back, and guess what I have? I have the cowboy duster. I am almost 100% sure at this stage that I don't need this, but let's give it a shot and see what's in here. Oh, see, look, look at this. It's okay. So basically, all right. Uh, let me just uh, rearrange and figure out what I'm trying to do here. So I got the clairvoyance. Let's have him build it. Uh, like I just Okay, that's interesting. Can I be invisible and have the camera? Alright, so you want to use the cameras to uh, kind of navigate your way around. It can get a little bit confusing. Like, for instance, it changes which direction you're going in there. You come through here. Kind of sneak your way around. There's no actual, like, guys in here, I think. And up near the toilet, sure enough. Oh, uh. Hello? Where am I? God damn it. Ah! I work in the There's a fucking plunger! I knew you needed the cobweb duster, son of a bitch! Alright, so a little story about the cobweb duster first off. Is that cost 800 arrowheads, and the way I did that was I used the, the dowsing rod, which I will go into and show you later on in the game. Uh, but then another thing that happened is I found two fucking scavenger items, and I didn't even mean to. I just kind of walked into them. <laughs> In the yeah, so anyway, I have this bloody plunger now. I cannot believe that you needed that, but which, so in which case, oh, oh dear. Bah. Oh, hi, I think I've seen you before. Hey uh, guys, we're fighting a fucking nightmare now. All right, uh, let me just uh, rearrange my abilities here, if you would. Uh, no, 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 I want that there. Yeah. Okay, I think this is uh, nightmare fights. They're a new thing, which really don't happen that often, I think. Uh, okay, careful, 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 where are you? Whoa! 
Ah, but they're pretty simple in terms of just shoot him or hit him or whatever. Okay. Bam. He's dead. There goes the nightmare. Oh, he's got little nightmare bombs. Uh, uh. Are they? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, wait, hold on. No, that's not happening. Ah, I gotta. Oh, or do I. Oh, I destroy them before anything? Maybe? Oh, do I. Do something else to him. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That's what he sees me as. He sees me as a, a foreign entity invading in this mine. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, God. I might actually die. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I was not prepared for this. Damn it. He swiped me. Oh, God. Do I have the plunger at least? Do I fight him again? Yeah, I fight him again. Uh, yeah, so this is a thing that just kind of randomly happens. Random encounters is as well as you get them. Uh, except for the fact they're not really random. I knew, I knew that there was one here, but I just. Oh, fuck. I just didn't know that they that, that would activate at that time. Um, whoa! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just be really careful. Nightmares. I'll tell you what, man. They they spook a lot of people, including me. Can I target you, please? Oh, I just can't do what I'm on. Okay. Whoop! 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 I've got to bring my Legends of Zelda action here, so I've got to do something to this. Oh, I know what I've got to do. Ugh. All right. So you got to have your telekinesis. Put that there. Oops. Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. Grab one of these and toss it in the fucking thing, and it blows up. Like that. Or it just crumples, I guess. Then blow up, just dies. Oh. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what a nightmare battle is like. They just kind of fucking happen. I see you there, Girl Scout. You fucking whisper at me, you piece of shit! Alright, there you go. Smack you. Now, I have absolutely no idea how long this episode is, because it took me a long ass time to get that cobweb duster. But, but with the, I was just gonna say, with the, uh, <coughs> the, what do you call them? The scavenger hunt items. I'll go over the ones that I've already gotten as well. Um, so what I'm thinking is, I don't want to end it here, because I have no idea how long this episode is, but I will. So, yeah. Uh, oh, maybe not. I, I don't know. It's really hard for me to tell. Let's just let's just go to the next area. This might be a long episode. It might be a short one. I don't know. So now we can finally access this area. I think I meant. My God, that took a while. It took me like an extra like twenty minutes. As you can see, we have all our assassins here. The book, the boss's story. Freddy. Well, it's the boss's story. Secret agent. I mean, assassin. Who is shooting at us? So there's an actual assassin, and you got all of these uh, assassins. Question mark. So now we want to, we can we got to make our way through this area, but be careful of the assassin that's actually in the book suppository. Whoa, whoa. Ah. So actually, what I, uh, I'm not sure how you're supposed to do it other than just fucking run. But what I might do is I might use my newfound invisibility technique. Uh, Please, ah. sir. Okay, well they can still see me, but I don't know if the sniper can. So, okay, so invisibility we didn't really use that much. I was using it a lot uh, in the hub world because they're like bears and stuff that it was psychic powers that'll burn you, but I was using it to kind of avoid them, so hopefully I can go invisible. He doesn't really see me, or he totally fucking does. What the hell am I supposed to do? Um... I'm worried the other assassins are going to make fun of me. Um, hmm. We are supposed to do something. Oh, maybe we can use clairvoyance on him. Oh, why do I, why do I ever think of that? I'm not getting any. Oh, that's a fellow assassin. Oh, that's a fellow assassin. So they, they see me as an actual assassin. God damn. What the hell am I supposed to do? Damn. Alright, I got this. Maybe if I just kind of like stay away from his line of sight. No. What the hell? Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. All right, all right. It's taking me longer than it really should. You shield. That's what you gotta do. Shield yourself from those stupid attacks. You just fucking casually walk on through. He's on you. Shield him. Bam. Can't do anything to you. In fact, I actually think they just disabled him entirely. Yeah, look at this. You definitely are required 100% to get the couple of this stuff. That's bogus, man. Oh, well. But it's good to have, anyway. Uh, I forgot that it was required for the story, but, eh. Freeze. Wow, no! It was the Girl Scouts all along! Oh, no. 
combination of a milkman. Never! You have him. Okay, let's all just settle down and talk. Ah! Well. Where is the milkman? Who is the milkman? What, what is, is the mission of the milkman? Where is my um, milkman? Closer. <coughs> that cooking box has got a bomb in it! Ah, oh, no, I just killed everyone. Glad I never bought any of those. <laughs> Thank God, it's an even bigger conspiracy than I thought. Where is the weed around Maybe here? Maybe I can find some stilts. <laughs> Fucking stilts. Meanwhile, helicopter is just floating by. Helicopter, land and let me in. I want to see the view from up there, please. Eh. Uh, okay, but I don't actually think I need that. I think all I need to do is just clairvoyance it. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. I think I gotta hold the helicopter. So you're gonna hear the helicopter pilot in I the like helicopter. To fly helicopters. <laughs> Flying over there. We are looking for the milkman. Looking around. We've been actually seeing this helicopter all over the place. Don't know where he is. He's flying around trying to search for it. Also, also the trees are connected underground, as you might have noticed. Can go up and down. Yes, they can. Aha, uh -huh, what's and this? Giant underground secret lab layer? What's that? The milkman. The milkman. Oh, he looks oddly familiar. Helicopters move sideways too, but not as fast as planes. Hmm. He's on that remote island over there. Hmm. We need to get to that remote that island. It's a phone tower. Okay. Well. Oh, here's a phone. Well, how about that? Hello. Hey, how's it going? Who is the milkman? Boy, is this you? I think I found the milkman. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who is this? Okay, from now on, your name isn't Boyd. It's Royd, because you're such a big pain in my butt. <laughs> if you see the lady tossing the cookies, run away. See the, la the lady tossing her cookies, run away. Well, we've seen Girl Scouts now really toss the cookies. They have just generally hold it. Anyway, we have the phone now, and I think this is more than an appropriate time to end off this episode. We'll be taking this phone and uh, finding our way across the phone lines to get to where the milkman supposedly is. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. That's how you do an intro. Outro. Fuck!